Hello and welcome to Project Backup. This first originated when my iMac got stolen and I lost lots of memories. I tried using services like SkyDrive, but loading bars are terrible. I also used SkyDrive, but there was formatting issues and syncing issues. I wanted one solution across the cloud. Concentrate. Files. Let all prayers be organized into files. So this brings me to Evernote. This is my central hub of all my information. I found this great article by The Verge of Thomas Houston, um, and he talks about this concept of all your information that you've ever read in one area. So I'm just going to quickly say about my own Evernote structure. It's a number and then the name, so it's the same across other devices. My inbox, this is where everything gets chucked in and then sent to the other notebooks. Every Evernote account has an Evernote email. This is where you can forward normal emails, attachments straight to it. Evernote Clipper, this is a Chrome extension where you can just bookmark or simply convert something into an article and save it to a certain notebook and then add tags for searching later. Really simple, really quick. So this is pretty much what I do for most of my notebooks, but personal gets a little different. I tend to get a lot of prints like receipts and bank statements, and I use a Doxy Go. This helps me to scan print items really quickly. For example, this photo. For travel, each place I go has its own notebook, so I can save all the information for that event in that notebook. For social and email subscriptions, a little different. I use ifty, if then, then that. So they have thousands of receipts with automated processes. So I'll just quickly say, if um, somebody posts a photo on Instagram of me, then I can create a trigger that saves a note to my Evernote. So I have an automated backup. And that's pretty much it. It's really quick and simple to set up. So I'm just going to go over my quick top five. One, if I favourite a Gmail, it saves to Evernote as a great backup. Two, is when I favourite a tweet, it goes into my Evernote. Three, if I like an Instagram, it saves to Evernote. Four, if I have a new contact, it has a backup on Evernote. Finally, five, if I have a new status on Facebook, it will add it as a backup to Evernote. So there's loads of channels, it's worth having a look to see what kind of automation you can have. When it comes to my photos, I have loads of photos, like 10,000 plus, that's 23 gig. Evernote only has 1 gig per month, that's 12 gig a year, it's just not enough, and it can't handle complex files. So my big backup is using Dropbox. Here is my file structure, it's pretty much the same as my Evernote. Camera uploads has all of my phone's photos. And I use Lightroom by Adobe to quickly edit and then add to my Dropbox so it just moves the photos from there into my Dropbox structure. However, if I want to view these photos on my phone, I use an app called Carousel by Dropbox and it pulls all the photos from my Dropbox. Really good way of sharing photos for events with your friends. For my safer things, like my passwords, I use 1Password. Really good for just putting all of your passwords in one safe, secure area. Gone are the days of using 1Password across multiple websites. And it's really good for auto-filling. I also back it up on Dropbox so I can use it on my phone in a safe, secure way. So my final thoughts are, it's a system that works for me. For people looking for their own system, it really comes down to three main areas. It has to be easy, it needs to be a two second thing, saving a file or scanning a document for later use. It really needs to be customizable to you. You use data and different pieces of information to inform your decisions. It could be small projects to holidays away, really anything, compatible. It needs to work with you. For me, I want to have it on all of my devices so I can just quickly grab information when I need it. Perfect example is when I'm in a meeting, I just need information quickly. Hi guys, this was just a quick snappy version of the longer blog post. Links can be found in the description. If you have any comments or feedback on this system, please feel free to comment below. I would 
Always appreciate feedback for upcoming videos. Thanks.